Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Alina. I'm a part-time Poshmark reseller and a reselling content creator. And in today's video, I will show you my little clothing haul from yesterday from Salvation Army. Well, it's not that little. There are, I think, just under 30 pieces. Yesterday, I gave myself a budget of $50 to see if I can turn it into $500. I am doing this video for multiple reasons. One, you can find out about a new and exciting brands that one can find at Goodwill or Salvation Army and that resell very well on Poshmark, uh, eBay, Mercari, De Depop, whatever you want to sell. And for those who are still debating if they should get into reselling, this video video is very good to watch because it's gonna show you what brands are selling well what's popular out there for reselling which of course is not the same for everyone but at least it gives you an idea and uh, gives you a little glimpse into the reselling business I have a few pieces here that I'm gonna start with um, I washed these last night as soon as I uh, finished some of them I picked up for styles some of them for the brand but I have high hopes that these are gonna do very well the first piece is an American Eagle wide leg jean in color sage. Wide leg jeans are very in right now. This also has a high waist. It says US for regular. Jeans usually have a style name. I looked inside, there's nothing uh, saying on them. So I guess American Eagle does not have any names for their jeans. But as you can see, um, it's a wide leg, high-waisted, uh, patch pocket, retro patch pocket, um, which is good to put everything in your description. This item is very stylish and I think it's going to do very well. Next one I picked up for style. I don't think this will sell for a lot, but it is very interesting. And uh, I saw one on eBay, I believe. It is by Fresh Laundry and um, it is a men's t-shirt. So don't be afraid to pick up um, weird and exciting pieces because they say ugly sells. <laughs> I don't think this is ugly. I think it's rather interesting. Okay, this brand you have to research. It's called Two Blind Brothers. And it is, I think the company is founded by two blind brothers, duh. <laughs> um, all the pieces have something in braille. I don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly. It is just a plain Henley t-shirt, but um, it's excellent condition. And this is a very good quality fabric. So whatever you see in this brand, pick it up because this is doing very well this is the second time i find this brand and i'm very excited and i want to see how it's doing this time the third piece that um, i washed by hand actually this is a vintage top by etro Etro is an italian brand i think it is made in italy yes and uh, this is 76 76% wool and 22% silk. It is very lightweight. I actually sold a scarf recently by Etro and it had the same tag. So if you see this, pick it up. All right, let's get into the bag. So I just wanna show you the bag. It is rather heavy. I'm just gonna pull one by one. This I picked up because of style. Um, it's called Gypsies and Moon Dust. It is like new, crushed velvet, and it has a twist. Beautiful peasant sleeve with a bow at the end, very flowy and um, the color is doing very well it's a uh, dusty rose so i picked this up for the style strictly because gypsies and moon dust and this is how the tag looks like gypsies and moon dust does not do very well 
but because the style is so beautiful, I'm expecting to sell this fast. Here we have a Truly Madly Deeply. This is the tag. I thought this is very adorable. It has color block sleeves in different colors and patterns. Um, it's striped. And um, unfortunately, it's a size small. I don't do very well with sizes that are smaller. Again, I picked that up because of the style. This got me very excited. This is a very consistent piece. It's a hoodie. It's called Civil Regime. And when I saw the comms, I was jumping up and down. <laughs> It is in very good condition. It needs actually a little stain treatment right here, but it's not that bad, but it's beautiful. Civil Regime, size large. This is another piece that I'm happy I found and it's new with tags. It's from Gianni Bini and um, retailed for 109 you guys. It is a high-waisted bell-bottom jean with a belt. So it's brand new, which is always a good find. If you find brand new stuff with tags, lean towards picking it up because chances are that you're gonna sell it faster <laughs> it's a funny one sorry too busy doing nothing not my case but someone out there yes um, i picked it up because it's funny first of all and second it's in very good condition i think it's been gently worn and also because it's red and christmas is coming this piece is by twisted heart and I think it's maybe the fourth or the fifth time I find this brand in the wild. This is doing very well. Unfortunately, all I found uh, was small sizes, but they still sell. This is a very popular brand with uh, teenagers. And this is how it looks like. It's kind of sparkly on the interior. And if you see this at the zipper pull, like that it's a bit dirty so i'll have to wash this but this is a brand that's doing very well okay another brand that's doing well i just found some sandals um this is a brand i think that's for men um it is teddy fresh teddy fresh I love graphic t-shirts and graphic shirts um, and this has very good comps so if you see Teddy Fresh, pick it up. This one here, this is a very lightweight sweater and it's by Philip Plain which is a designer. So of course pick this up when you see it. The only boo-boo is that it has a little bit of a hole here and of course the owner had to cut the tag. But still, this is amazing. The colors are very bold and beautiful and um, the quality is amazing. Organic cotton will sell no matter what. So if you see Echo Threads, 100% organic cotton pick it up if it's in a good condition you cannot go wrong with organic cotton there are a lot of people out there that are allergic to fibers so they tend to wear only cottons or silk and organic cotton is a bit on the expensive side this sweater I pick up because it feels like it's never been worn it's by Miss Look and it's a size large so it's a good size 
Um, I love the scalloping here on the bottom and at the sleeves. It is lightweight rather. And pink is very in because of the Barbie movie. So I think this is a good pickup. Another new with tag item by American Eagle Outfitters. And it's a sweater pullover hoodie. In a size large. I think this can be unisex. Which is a good thing if you see unisex items, pick it up again and use the word unisex um, as a tag in your listing. It says seriously soft. I believe you. Hmm, I forgot what this is. Okay, mango pop. Mango pop is... It's a bodysuit with a cutout here at front. Just an essential piece that will sell fast. I don't think it will sell for a lot, but this is an essential piece and very good for the fall and winter. And then we have a Madewell pullover sweater that I thought it was cute. This is the back. It's a size extra large. And it's good because sweaters actually are being worn slouchy or oversized. So you have more of an audience if the sweaters you pick up are uh, larger sizes. So that can be also a deciding factor when you're thrifting. I usually don't pick up this brand, but this is so soft. Young, fabulous, and broke. It is a size extra small, but it's very slouchy and oversized. So um, I hope this is a good pickup. So let's see if this is going to sell. It says 75% rayon. A rayon is a very soft fiber. Um, made from bamboo so I think it's a good pickup although young fabulous and broke does not do very well in my closet but um, we're gonna try again don't lose hope coca-cola <laughs> coca-cola sweaters and t-shirts have done very well in my closet the resale value is not a lot but uh, these are fun and they sell right away so this is how it looks like is coca-cola merchandise so this little sweatshirt will do well i'm sure oh this <laughs> this one is fun <laughs> so it is that time of the year where uh, we can pick up ugly sweaters and i bet you they will sell um, and this is extra ugly but it's also funny it is by 33 degrees and it's a size large. I have to research this one. I just thought it's very funny, so I picked it up. Okay, I picked up a few pants and this one is by Atleta. It's a size 6. And it is a active wear pant that's doubled up. I don't think it's double-sided, but uh, it's a very consistent piece and the quality of it is amazing. It has back pockets with zippers, just like a size medium. Now this piece, I was debating if I should pick it up or not. Uh, it's a piece by Stussy, um, which sells very well and it's brand new with tags, but it is very dusty. I think someone stepped on it or something and I was debating if I should wash it myself which will make it not new with tags anymore or have it uh, dry cleaned. I'm still debating on that. It's an amazing find. It says it's a chino pant in a color rose. I don't have a retail price, but I'm sure this um, will go for a good amount of money. 
we'll see another pair of pants um, this one is from prana i have to check if it's for men or for women i think it's for women it is a size extra large it says breathe i think this is a very good pickup it's made out of hemp it says breathe and uh, it's a size extra large i have to research this a little bit more because uh, it seems like it's a uh, very good quality and this is the tag just in case prana is a very good pickup but be selective about it and check comps when you pick it up this i picked up because it's very very soft and it looks like it's in amazing condition it's called emma and ashley design size medium it is a velour lounge pant with some sequins on the side in a color 10. this doesn't look to me like a size medium i'm gonna put some measurements in the listings just in case this one is not a very smart pickup although the brand is amazing so every time you see this pick it up it is mini rose but um, the elastic is shot it has to be changed and i see a few holes here I think I'm gonna just sell it for a few dollars just to get rid of it but um, I will see if I can fix the elastic and put some um, pull string at the waist as best as I can but um, this is still in good condition I mean the fabric it's amazing it's a velour dusty rose um, but I just wanted to show you the tag. If you see this mini rose anywhere, pick it up. And it's a size medium, but this looks a little bigger though. And this is my favorite pickup. Um, it is a pair of leggings from Misfits in a size large. Um, I think I already posted this in my closet last night because halloween is coming and um, this would be a fast sale this actually is a very rare piece of leggings i only saw it once while i was checking comps so i have high hopes for this one and the last piece of clothing it's a victoria's secret uh, small um, polyester top that's very silky it's a satin top that i picked up for style look at this all these animals like rabbits horses unicorns owls deer butterflies i'm a sucker for these things so it's okay to pick up things that you think are unique because those usually do very well all right and i picked up a few pairs of shoes this is a dr shoals jenny sneaker and i picked it up because they have a lot of art support and i usually sell comfort shoes rather than high heels And it's a size 10 and the other pair of shoes I picked up I never heard of this brand it's called Reeker and I think it comes from Germany um, it's called Reeker anti-stress probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I ever tried on unfortunately it's not my size so whoever is getting these it's gonna love them so they are a size nine by the way and this is how it looks inside so that's it for our haul i hope you learned a little something about some new brands we'll see in about two months how this is gonna do the whole haul 
cost me $58, but it's okay. I'm excited to post everything. And I'll meet you back here to see if indeed $50 can become $500 from just a bag of clothes. So this little project of mine will have three parts. The first part I already posted. It was a short video announcing this one, the big haul and uh, this is video number two and for video number three you'll have to subscribe to my channel and get notified when i will post the results what sold for how much and why of course let me know down in the comments if this video was useful and interesting to you make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future updates or uploads thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye